All cranked up today. A little summer like today, isn't it? Yes. And I'm afraid it's going to get worse before it gets any better. Of course, that's normal with summer it coming summer along, coming. but this is May. We're not supposed to have temperatures so often in the 90s, and we've got a bunch of it in the seven-day forecast. Now, this is looking a little more typical of spring around here. A tornado watch box for parts of our central Texas area in the metro area includes only Williamson County. Out here in the hill country, you folks in Burnett, Lano, San Saba, and Lampasas counties all included in this tornado watch until 9 o'clock tonight. But so far, it's been smooth sailing. These storms have been confined to North Texas. Brand new tornado warning just issued right now for uh, areas from Corsicana down to Fairfield, uh, Palestine, and the uh, Athens area. Uh, a couple of tornado touchdowns this afternoon. We have storm chasers on these storms. We're not seeing anything too significant right now in terms of what they're seeing, but we will let you know. Let's take a look at the storm profiler here, kind of a close-up of these severe storms. And you can see that they're all clustered together in south of Dallas. Uh, we haven't, again, seen much development back to the west, but we did see a tornado touchdown right there. Ham radio operators, Highway 287 there south of Dallas. And this tornado touchdown uh, near the second one was reported from an Arlington Airport Tower observer there uh, seen eight miles toward the south of the Arlington area. So at least two tornadoes that we know of. So we know this is a tornado environment today, at least up to the north of us. But the development back to the west, real slow to take place. In fact, there is no rain to show you on the radar here locally. A live view from our 360 tower camera showing you partly cloudy skies right now over the capital city and 86 degrees here now. In the hill country, let's check some readings out here. Readings as warm as 88 in Llano and San Saba, 87 in Lampasas. It's 80 degrees in Burnett, 85 in Marble Falls. Metro area readings, very, very warm, very muggy. Uh, temperatures actually pretty close to average today, though, in the the middle 80s because we have been mostly cloudy and we have seen just a few uh, spritzes of rain here and there, a couple sprinkles, a couple light rain showers, certainly nothing significant, but it has helped keep temperatures down below 90 in most areas today. 88 in Giddings, 89 degrees in LaGrange, Bastrop coming in at 85. Officially in Austin, at Camp Mabry, it is 86 degrees and skies are mostly cloudy, out at the airport mostly cloudy, and also 86, dew points in the low 70s, very, very humid, very moist out there. Winds south, south Southwesterly now at 7 to 9 miles per hour, sunset at 822 tonight. Well, it's getting better. Slowly, the mold count coming down, but 6,000 plus is still high. Grass at 22 is low, and we suspect mold will be high and grass low tomorrow. That is your allergy forecast around Texas. 90 in Midland, 86 in Dallas. Houston coming in at 85 degrees. You can see the thunderstorms that have been firing today. Pretty small little cluster there around Dallas, but that front stretches back here into West Texas, and there still is the potential for some development westward and southwestward along that front tonight. Our computer model believes that some of that activity could develop and get down here into Central Texas tonight, quickly dissipating overnight. Then one more slight chance tomorrow, and then after that, very summer like we believe right on through the weekend and then uh, beyond that very summer like next week you'll see that here in the seven day forecast let's get to it here's tonight's low temperature map everybody low 70s highs tomorrow 90 or above we believe in most areas in austin late tonight we could see a rain shower thunderstorm get this far south but the probabilities still look pretty low tomorrow a mix of clouds and sun a little hotter than today a late day thunderstorm buildup possible Maybe just off in the distance, though. On uh, Saturday and Sunday, 93 both days, uh, some morning low clouds, some afternoon sun. And then uh, Monday through Thursday of next week, we don't see anything uh, significant enough to even put in a slight rain chance at this point, and temperatures still a little hotter than average.